Hey guys and what is up and welcome back. So today we're looking at staking uh, and as you will know I'm very much into staking more so than mining for the sheer fact that in the UK mining becomes very expensive because our electric costs are insanely high. So for this we're actually going to be talking about uh, things like Coinbase and Kraken and like um, exchanges really because a lot of exchanges have now and implemented their own version of staking since DeFi has come out, which I'm going to make a video on at some point. But if we go over, we have the start of what we're looking at, which is Kraken. I'm going to go through like how each one works, what they do, and just how it's actually a really cool system. So Kraken I've used before for just buying crypto. Uh, I currently have nothing in the account, but the way this one kind of works is you go onto the staking page from the start and here are just the three they are currently doing or at least these are the three I can get and the good thing about these are the percentages are actually pretty high and I'll show you a comparison in a minute to the one I'm currently using which I might actually change from myself but you you know buy use the Kraken account buy or transfer funds of these ones you stake it and then you make money of just having it in your account it's basic staking but it's on an exchange instead of in like, like you know like is this it's in a exchange instead of just like in a random wallet somewhere or in a folder that you've created through a staking system what that, that the company's made these are good because there's no lockup period so the percentage is lower granted there is a 12 percent on this one which is pretty high for these kind of low ones but the good thing about it is you put the money in take it out whenever you want there's no stopping all it does is as you adjust your amounts in there the reward you'll get is better and worse and changes here and there which is you know to be expected with staking so like with PCX, which is why I stake, it's seventy eight percent return. But that's because you've got a two week lock up period, so you you don't earn any money. You can't use the money. You can't do anything for two weeks. Whereas these, I get twelve percent on this one. I could put two hundred dollars in, and say if I, if I wanted to take out fifteen dollars tomorrow, no problem. Just do it there and there. So Kraken is a great one. The one I use more because I've had a better experience with it is Coinbase. Now, as you can see, I've got a fair bit of money in my portfolio. But the three coins they have for staking are Cosmos, Tezos, and Dai. There are more coins to stake, like Compound and stuff, but that's done through the Coinbase Wallet app. And you've got to use USD tokens to make it work. So it's a bit more, bit more of a confusing thing, and you've got to pay with um, Ethereum gas fees. So they're quite high at the moment. So you can set up a good one where you buy crypto every day, every week, every month, and just keep adding to your account, which I used to do, it has this lovely little ticker, which makes you feel like you're earning a lot more money than you are, which kind of tricks people. But I've got Cosmos going, and there's 29p in there, Tezos 18p in there, and Dye is a penny in there. These are the same, you put them in, the lockup period is however long, and, well, so there's no lockup period, sorry. You put the money in, you can take it out, do whatever you want, and the percentage is slightly lower than all the rest. So if I actually go back to my portfolio and go on to Cosmos, this one is 5% reward. Tezos is 4.6 reward. And Dai is 2%. Now Dies two percent, but you get returns every single day, so it could add up a lot faster in the long run. It just kind of depends. But if you remember those mounts, Cosmos is seven on here and six on here, whereas on here it was five. So obviously that's a two percent difference, which is quite a lot if you have a lot of money, and four point six, and this is six. So. The amount difference is, it's only like a couple of percent, but if you have a few thousand dollars in there, it's going to make a big difference. So in that sense, I would say use Kraken, 
but I prefer using Coinbase just because I have it connected to other systems like nice hash and other things so it all kind of goes into one location and sorts itself out. There's the Crypto.com app which most people would know about if they are involved in staking in any sense because simply put this is a locking up period one to a point so let's say you have less than a thousand there's four percent three percent and one point five percent depending on how long you do it. it's so a flexible you can take it out whenever you want only one point five percent three months is locked up you get support of stable coins it's ten percent if you do that if you have more you can get up to twelve percent they have all these coins available in just normal ones and then here's all the stable coins they have a lot of coins it's a very trustworthy system i've used it a lot before it's the only thing that really puts me off is the percentages are not the best if you have a thousand or less like i'm getting about the same with coinbase and i can take them out whenever i want so i don't know why i would use this but if you have a lot in this account it is very stable and you can make a decent amount of money if you have the good amount staked also, if you use my referral code, we both get $50 if you complete the actions, so that's always a benefit. This one is slightly different. This is Stormgain. Now, they have what I enjoy, which they've changed it in the past few months, so you earn a lot less than you used to, where you they have a miner, and depending on what your status of your account is, you can earn a good percentage, and you just it just cloud mines. But it's free so say if you have a hundred and fifty thousand like dollars give or take in your account because it's, it's based on the usd token it's tether so it's hundred fifty thousand you know in times one and it goes all the way up to having 75 million in your account yes you have to have 75 million in your account but you're making 439 dollars a day so you're making thirteen thousand dollars a month so, like, the minimums are is you can have nothing in your account and you make $12 a month if you do it consecutively. So you got to keep doing it every few hours. You've got to come back and restart it, restart it, restart it. That's good. It's free money. You can use it for trading with. You can't withdraw it straight away. If I tried to withdraw it, it would just say I have no money in my account. And mostly I've got to do this quickly. But you can trade with it. So if you can trade it and make a profit, then you can withdraw the profit, which is something. But they have... They earn interesting, which is every single coin in your account will earn interest. So if you have like 15 different cryptocurrencies all just sitting in your account, if you have a minimum of 150,000 US dollars tokens in your account, you would earn 3% on everything in your account. Or that's 12% for that, that one. So it works a better in a way, I'd say, because if you have that amount of money in your account, you've clearly got quite a lot of money in your system. So you'd be earning a very, very high amount of money with that percentage. It's a good system, it's a good incentive, but you've also got to have a crap load of money to put down in the first place to be able to make any profit without it costing you time and energy. Now, the good old Binance. They've done a lot. They have their own coin, they have their own DeFi pool, they have their own wallets. They're doing pretty much everything now. And they also have all of these. You've got crypto loans, liquid swaps for um, DeFi stuff, Visa cards. They've got the the Binance mining pool, so you could just you know connect your stuff to their pool. They have their staking stuff. You just gotta you know go through it all because they have their locked staking, so you can choose how long you want to stake it for. The minimum amount you can so. You know, you got to keep an eye on it, because like Dash, you can, 10 days is 17%, then it drops, then it goes to 11%, and this one is 25, 25, so like, you can get good percentages, you've just got to have the right amount, and they do, you know, a lot of coins like EOS, and Atom, and Dash, and you can do Taser for 30 days, and like, you get quite a lot, but there's a limited amount you can stake, and only certain people can stake, and all of this stuff. So this is their locked staking. They also have, if I go back to the Binance Earn section, they have their other stuff. So we have the flexible ones, which are the ones you can deposit and redeem any single time. And they have 51 other coins. 
So this, the seven day API is obviously whatever it is. But this coin, for example, you get 296% back. Okay, that's quite a lot. <laughs> for a coin that I don't know how much it would cost. But these ones are all flexible ones, so you can take the money in and out whenever you want. But obviously the percentages are insanely low. Like, where is it? Uh, Dash is 1%, Balance Coin is 0.35%. So it's, it's next to nothing, but... You know, it's up to you if you really want to do that kind of system. Then there's the fixed ones, so you the duration is obviously like 7 days, 10 days. A flexible duration kind of it's because that's DeFi staking but these ones is more you get more reward because you're locking up your coins so this is like 90 days 90 days you 90 days you get like seven percent whatever you make a good amount of money with these but the problem is you then can't get your money out unless you really want to which is my issue with that then they have the launch pool, which is what they call mining, but you deposit these coins, so uh, Binance Coin or the Binance USD or the, whatever that one is, common what it is, um, and you deposit it and you get returned with another coin. So if you deposit this one, like deposit the Binance Coin, you get this coin, it's a 4% return, and they're only here for a limited amount of time before they stop the mining, it's a really weird system that I haven't really dived too much into because it looks a bit odd. But you can obviously you could use this coin once you get it, put it into this section, and then make a 70% return. So yeah, it could be good, it could be bad. It kind of depends on what kind of person you are and how you would want to run things. Because there are multiple different things, and there's also the liquid swap, which is just deposit and redeem and you know. It's like a savings thing, but it's really confusing because the API is like 50% and 60%, but, you know, the strike price is very high. And the final one I was looking at, which is, it's hot, hot bit. Um, it's a good system. Their exchange is really, really good. Their crypto asset, you know, lending, DeFi kind of section is a bit confusing in places, but it's a matter of if you find the coin you want. So let's say I want ETH. And then they have all different kinds of things. They've got smart pools, lockup boosting, they've got income funds, different amounts of e uh, money needed. It's like they need 5 ETH for that, but you need like 0 0.05 for that. Uh, it's all these kind of different stats. You've got to choose the amount you have money wise, what kind of lockup you want, if you want to lock up, and what kind of way you want to do things. It's a good system. They have a good range of things for different coins. Obviously, some of these down here only have like one, but all these ones up here, you got like two there. Filecoin's only got a lot at the moment because it's become a big thing again recently. US dollar token has a crap load, and you can go from like 13% down to like six and a half. So that also depends what you do. But to the 13, you have to put 100 US dollars in there, and that's only 10. This one's 9%, but this is 1,000. So there are lots of different ways of doing this staking. Like, the simple ones, Kraken and Coinbase. You throw your money in, you leave it, you go home. Nothing else. You get a low percentage, but yeah. Crypto Earn, Crypto.com, really, really good. Put your money in, you can do it on your phone, on the go, with no issues, because it's mainly just an app. Set it up, and once it's done, it's done, and off you go. Sometimes you lock it, lock it up, sometimes you have it flexible. Depends what kind of percentage you want to earn. Storm game, they had their interest, but you've got to have a crap load of money in there. Binance, depends on what kind of person you are. Do you want flexible or do you want fixed? You can get really, really high percentages. That depends on what you go with. And then we have hot bit, which again, all depends on what kind of percentage you want to make and how bullish you are on that crypto at the time. But those are the main ones I used have used or are using currently and the ones I would say I would trust in a sense this one I've only used the exchange I haven't really used the staking too much I'm more into Coinbase because I like how the system works like I said Kraken I've used before and it's decent Coinbase Earn I've used before for Litecoin I did that for a few months made 
twenty dollars off it. So it's all right. Storm gain. I do the cloud mining as you can see, and Coinbase. Not Coinbase. Uh, Binance. I haven't done any staking on it yet, but I'm going to do some of the staking on it, and I'm going to do it through the locked staking at some point. So I'm actually going to use the this staking down here and see what it's like and then I can do a review on that because the percentages are pretty high I just need to actually choose my duration and decide if I want to do like Atom or do Dash because I have Atom already so I can get 9.3% instead of getting you know the 5% I think it is I'm getting on here yes yeah, so I can get a considerable amount more but that will be for another video so these are my staking ones I would recommend. Uh, I'll leave links to all of them in the description below just so you have them. And hopefully you can make a good amount of money. Better than I can anyway. That depends if you have a good amount of money to start with. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.